Howdy folks, welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel, I am Gridiron Master. Just gonna get the uh, link into the chat, up on Discord. See if anybody wants to uh, pop in. Alright, so this week's game is against Oklahoma State. Now they're sitting at five and one, um, currently having a middle of the road season at two and two. Uh, considering how I've been playing, probably I'm gonna have a, a tough time. Last two seasons I've gone eight and five, and uh, last season I had chances to break into the double digits. Had a couple of good. A uh, couple of good upsets against Oklahoma and actually Oklahoma State, but that was with a very different team. So I'm going to have to uh, try to make do with what I got. I want to look at recruiting a little bit because my current fullback, Nick Perkins... He's got a couple years left, and I don't have anybody really solid that I want, or that I have. So, I'm going to see if maybe there's any decent fullbacks. Let's go top five. Okay, so I got uh, Alan Skinner, three star out of Richland Hills. It's good at blocking. It's good for me because I'm a pretty heavy run team. Recruiting board is full. Let me clear that out. There's probably a couple guys on here that, uh, I can probably get rid of. Like this guy. I'm fifth place and he's already soft commit. This guy's committed to Mizzou, so I'll get rid of him. This guy's Houston, Utah. This guy was a cornerback. I am in second place. So I'll see if my recruiter can pick him up. Definitely want to uh, focus on Getting a decent fullback. So definitely Alan Skinner. Let's see if he's got good catching. D minus. Blocking is his blocking is only slightly better than his catching. Oh. 
I'll pick him up. We got Vincent Newton. Run block is a C. Run block strength. Catching is a D. But he's pretty close to committing to Louisville, so. I don't know. I think I'll just uh, stick with Alan Skinner for now. So I'm going to go with the uh, old school gray pants. All right, so they're going to go air raid. Air raid is tough because they, uh, the uh, no huddle offense. Typically, air raid for the CPU in this game means that they're going to go no huddle. And it's tough. It's tough to stop. But I guess we're going to give it a shot. Hello, football fans. Brad Nessler here, along with Kirk Herbstreet in the booth and Aaron Andrews on the sidelines. It's college football on ESPN, brought to you by EA Sports, and we'd like to welcome you to tonight's game between the Oklahoma State Cowboys and the Aggies of Texas A&M. Kyle Field in College Station, Texas, is the home of the 12th man and the site for today's game. And every time I hear the word College Station, I get those goosebumps. We're going to go old school and kick it. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Harrison from the five. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out. See if we can't get some people in the chat. They got three wide. First down, well. 10 to go. Ball on the 23 yard line. They get five yards on the play. And it begins. Drops back to pass. It's complete. And he's taken down at about the 29-yard line. Third and four. I'd be surprised if I can stop him on this drive. Cook doesn't like what he sees. Uh oh. Passes it to the middle of the field. Ooh. He's taken down at the 31. That running back was showing off. Quite simply, momentum killers. Definitely didn't have to spin. Fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. At the 33, like a couple of boxers in round one, these two teams are feeling each other out. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. From their own 33-yard line, first down. Nothing there. And 
the halfback carries for a pickup of three. From their own 36-yard line, second down. All right, third and two. That's manageable. From their own 41-yard line, it's third down. Come on. Very good tackle in space. A couple of yards at most on that pass. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go. I feel like I can get this. I feel like I can get it. This is a very questionable play call here. I'm not sure I agree with it. He's tackled at the 44. And the Ooh. Ball I was tempted to throw a, a short pass. My tight end has dropped a lot of passes this season. So, definitely don't trust him. From their own 44 yard line, first down. Robertson. Reminds me of the old uh, Chevy Chase film, Cops and Robertsons. Pretty good little flick. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And down he goes at the 45 yard line. So his fifth run of the drive goes for another first down. This offense is running the ball very effectively on this drive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. They forgot about uh, Paul Walker. Not Paul Walker. Who am I thinking of? Yeah, because Bo Ward, he's my starter. Out for the season. Uh, my backup QB. Is his name? Yeah, it's Paul Walker. Okay. So he's pretty pretty similarly rated to uh, Bo Ward. Where's it out to the right to the halfback? Knocked out of bounds. At about the 41. That's four yards on the play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. Roach gets another handoff, and he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. I'm actually surprised. I feel like I would have had a little more trouble running the ball. First and ten. This is the ninth play of this drive. Roach running again. Runs it left for a decent game. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here we go. That's it. The inside. And a huge touchdown play. Nice vision by the running back. He knew where he needed to go and got there quickly. It's good blocking that that time. So there it is. AM goes up on the board first. Off of a good three and out. Um, off the first drive, actually.
All right, now they're going four wide. They'll go to work at the 26 yard line. Let's get Lambert in the game here. They give to the tailback. Makes it out to about the 43. He's changing things up. Complete brought down, nothing doing. They're calling an audible. And down he goes at the 46. Cook changes the play at the line. Boom. Think about the speed of instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. Definitely should have pitched that one. Second and 14. Let's see. Oh my god. Dang it. Messing up the buttons. From the 45 yard line, second down. Back to pass. Catches it. Brought down right around the 38 yard line. That's a seven yard gain. Hey, he picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Cook. Doesn't like what he sees. It's a pass on third on. and short. Receivers got the first down, and he's finally knocked out of bounds at the nine. They've got a great scoring opportunity right now. Let's see if they make the most of it. Cook. Come on. Let's get some pressure. I was gonna blitz, but I saw that the uh, wide receiver was. Uh, I didn't have a man on him. The extra point to tie this game up. Well, definitely had some shots at stopping them, but. We just had a couple good third down plays. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Caught at the eight. Gets out to about the twenty one. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Let's stick to our game plan here. Straight run, nothing going on there. He got what he could, and it wasn't much. The middle linebacker came on a blitz and did a great job of blowing up that run. Took a blitz on the right side. Come on, catch it. There we go. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Got a holding call. Clipping. 
That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. From their own 23-yard line, it's that was a good play-action pass. Six yards on the counter play right there. And we're all tied up at the end of the first quarter. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Now the pressure's going to be coming, so I gotta get I gotta get this pass off quick. There we go. He's looking for more. Knocked out of bounds around the 48-yard line. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. It's, it's really great to have a fullback that can block and catch. From their own 48-yard line, first down. Try to change the play. They'll go with the run once again. Three-yard gain by the running back. Nice tackle there from the freshman coming down from his position at safety and making a solid tackle on the ball carrier. It's like the middle's open. He gets another carry. That goal after decent pickup. That's good enough to pick up the first down. Well, that's a strong run. It makes a statement when you can run the ball like that. Taken down around the 39 yard line. Roach gains around three yards on the counter play. Second down and seven. Ball on the 39 yard line. And so, on this play, I'm probably going to be looking for Robertson or Perkins. I don't get sacked. Play fake, looking to run. Here comes just the pressure. Slides down. So, with that run, they pick up Take the scramble. Nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24 yard line. See, the middle opened up again, so I'm going to take the middle. Doesn't like what he sees. Tackle around the 16 yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Second and two yards to go. Ball on the 16. Expect the defense to turn it up a notch here in the red zone. They have to watch the play clock here. Taken down to the backfield. That was a bad read. Wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. I trust my running game here. It might be smarter to kick that field goal, but it, I really need those seven points. Second down. Walker changes the play at the line. Takes a snap and he's in trouble. He let that one go before the defense got to him and it fell incomplete. Well, sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. Well, let's see what they do here. It's third and goal from the six. Let's see if I can't run it in here. Gets another carry, and they get nice yardage on that run. That last carry 
puts him over the century mark for the game. Come on. A tight game like this, they really needed this guy I'm to have a big I'm gonna take it. Me, he knows it's not take the chance. They put everyone up on the line. There's the handoff. He scores. And for Roach, he now has two touchdowns on the ground today. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries before this one's over. <laughs> it's really helped carry the offense so far in the net. Maybe the jump was a little excessive, but... Just got to make sure we get in there. And he adds the extra point. And now we take a look at the drive summary. Green has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Oh, man, he took him down hard. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Let's see if my defense can't get a stop here. Here's the give. Good outside run there. That'll be a gain of five. Cook doesn't like what he sees. Here's the halfback with a first down grab. Switch to a little cover two. See if that doesn't help. before this one even started. Back to pass. Let's it go. And it's complete. And that play could have gone for six. Oh boy, you're right. And all week long this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. There was some movement on the line. Let's start on the offense. That'll give me a little bit of a chance to readjust. First and goal, and if they can execute, we'll be all tied up. Uh oh. That's the screen. up about six yards there they're packed in tight on the line come on he lets it go knock down uh oh fourth down are they gonna go for it I say they take the point the, the three points now they're gonna go for it Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Man. Fires a laser touchdown. He fired it out to his wide receiver who made the Saw that guy open and I thought I should probably audible out of this. But. Well on fourth down, it's always a gamble, but it paid off in a big way right there. Certainly paid for it. Oklahoma State gets set to kick this one away. Oof. Still got a minute 45. Plenty of time to score. He makes it to the 28 yard line. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Yeah, 
The offense will take over at the 28. First down, 10 to go. Let's start off with a little toss to the left side. Here that gets us. Pitch out left and he's going to lose yardage. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. The offense calls a timeout. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Let's try a little rollout action here. Looks like a blitz. They're showing blitz. Come on. Oh my god. Well, this is... Uh, what's up, Trucker? This is... Uh, it's a dynasty. I do have the, the rosters for pretty much every NCAA game. But this is dynasty, so... This is like... From their own 27 yard line. Four seasons removed from the actual year of this game. Try to change the play. He scrambled. It's a fumble. And the ball bounces out of bounds. The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. Yeah, I like playing with uh, named rosters. I wouldn't say that I'm a collector, but I just I just saw that you know you could get the old rosters for games that don't have the online servers anymore. So instead of seeing like QB number eight or whatever, you can see the names, which it adds a little bit of immersion to me. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground? Not a big uh, basketball gamer, but I mean, if I if I had those games, I would definitely try to get the rosters. Kind of funny because when I was younger, I didn't understand why. Uh-oh. Fumble. Come on, Stucky. That was a big break there. Yeah, when I was a kid, I didn't understand why the college games didn't have names. But the pro games had names. So, simple fix with a little roster update. Alright, so this is my shot. Since I get the ball back next half, I... Got a chance to score here. At the, 48. First down, 10 to go. the only basketball game that I really played a lot was uh, NBA 2K5. That is one game that I will. That I'll play. Uh, NFL 2K5 and NBA 2K5. Uh, uh, back on my PS2. A lot of nostalgia for those games. Especially the music. I'd always uh, spend time like designing the cleats, not the cleats, the, the basketball shoes in 2K5. Which I, I thought was a pretty cool feature. I don't know if you ever did that. I did see uh, 2K5. It, well, it was more than just uh, it was more than just names. Someone actually went in and like they started replacing. The textures, um, they made Chris Boomer look old, like older with the white hair, which I thought was pretty cool. Hey, uh, Tennessee Titans, I don't watch them, but uh, Ryan Tannehill, he was a wide receiver in college for a bit. 
I think he's underrated as a, as a quarterback. Yeah, Ryan Tannehill. I think people uh, overlook him. It's second and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. Cook drops to throw. And he just got drilled. The offense calls a timeout. I remember watching Ryan Tannehill uh, at Texas A&M. It was pretty good. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Definitely like seeing him uh, play. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. All right, Trucker, I'll see you. Close. The offense calls a timeout. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. And he got it. We've still got a half of football remaining, but our score at halftime. Hey, I, I held him to three points. I'm going to reward myself with a little bite. See what the game stats are. Four out of five. At this pace, he's on track to hit 10 pass attempts. Definitely heavy in the run game. State is set to kick All this right. ball off to start the second half. Let's see what I can do. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. These are the calls that drive a coach crazy. Senseless penalties can sometimes be the difference between winning and losing the game. All right, you know me, I'm going to go conservative on the tempo and just crawl to the end zone. Ball on their own 17. Texas A&M is up by four. They need to hurry. Run down after a nice run up the middle. A five-yard gain. It's second and five here. Ball on the 22. Roach will run it again. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making space because that was just a punishing hit. All right, I ran to the left to set up this play action pass. Texas A&M holds a four-point lead. See if Perkins lead. can come through here. I'll just take the scramble. He's in trouble. And he dives forward. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. <laughs> Man coverage will get you sometimes. It's 
first and ten. <laughs> Texas A&M is up four. They go with the run. He's in the clear. Brought down at the 47. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very <clears throat> determined. He got the first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Looks like Chris Roach is kind of tired. Hand off, and he's met immediately. A two yard run by the halfback. You're not... Let me increase the uh, auto subs. By a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Guess I didn't really do anything. From the 45 yard line, it's second down. Again with a carry. He's tackled around the 36 yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. All right, got. Chris Wilson coming in at running back. First and ten. Ball on the I think he's the fastest one on the roster. Play fake and looking to run. Catches it. He's taken down around the 19-yard line. Man, did he ever <laughs> sell the run? The defense took the bait. And that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. Man, I, I really thought I'd be struggling more against Oklahoma State. They're five and one right now, but I didn't take a look at their schedule, so maybe they they're just playing cupcake teams or something. Zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. Hands off left, and he's brought down quickly. That'll be a gain of three yards. Good pressure from the defense. They brought the heat. There wasn't much room for the running back to work with. Let's see more of this rollout magic. On play action, he'll scramble. Rolls to the left, and he throws it away. And they got some pressure on him that time. And what that does is mess up the timing of the offense, causing the incompletion. Tenth play of the drive. It's third down. Walker drops back. Fires in what? the plate. He was looking for the tight end. He had to get rid of that one in a hurry. What happened? And two guys open. So Robertson, 87, tight end, comes off that push, runs left. He's open right here. And uh, uh, he got was overthrown. But then this guy. Overthrew number 87 and uh, Lindsay. Missed that catch. Coordinator cooked up a good blitz package that time, and although it didn't result in a sack, it forced a bad throw. And it splits the uprights. First down, 10 to go. Ball All right, let's see if the defense line. can step up. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. That'll be a gain of five. The 
They're changing the play. I think I'm gonna have gonna have to go like a three four. Cook drops back to pass. He scrambled. Receivers got the first down. And they make the stop at around the fifty. Seems like they got a pretty good offensive line. Still made it. Uh oh, fumble. We got it. This is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. Oh, we just got laid out by number 16. Gotta go concussion protocol. the ball here at the 32 Texas A&M is up by a touchdown oh my god come on Nick gotta move second and ten ball on the 32 Texas A&M up seven points. Back to pass and they got him in a hurry. Give the coverage all the credit here. They stuck to those receivers and gave the pass rush enough time to bring the quarterback down. But the quarterback did do a good job of not losing too much ground. It only set them back about two on the play. Back. Makes the catch and look out. Ooh. And they bring him down at the 38. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does it? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage. Nice passing for first time. And I don't know what that that clipping is in the video. Haven't been able to figure it out. Sorry about that. Has it been doing this? It hasn't been doing it this much. Or this stream very much. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. It's a pretty good pass play. I was looking for a roach running back. And I probably could have passed it to him. He was had a lot of green ahead of him. But I decided to go with slot receiver. the toss left nice run to the left there Roach gets about four yards on the play it's second and six ball on the 34 try another rollout play on play action he'll scramble yeah. throws to the tight end and that ball's incomplete boy that was a rocket if the receiver didn't come down with it the quarterback made sure nobody else was going to come down with it I don't know why that was so off. Paul Walker's accuracy. Is an 80. Maybe the his feet weren't planted all the way, I guess. Third down and they need to get it to the 28. Texas A&M is up a score. Yeah. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it. So can I make this field goal? Goal though, in time. I'll give it a shot. They'll call on the field goal unit from 51 yards away. Texas A&M is hoping to make this a two-score game. Kicks up. Nope. And it falls short. No good. Well, no luck for the kicker as he misses. Glad they didn't have a return man back there. Three points on the board. And our score, Texas A&M, 24, Oklahoma State, 17. Need a better kicker than that. 
They'll go to work at the 34-yard line. And I got saved last drive by a fumble. I don't think that's going to happen again. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. His receiver didn't have much of a chance to make a play on the ball, so credit the defender for breaking it up. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Uh oh. Ooh, that was almost intercepted too. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Defense, come on. From their own 34 yard line. Third down. Oh. They got me. Still fourth down though. Let's see what they do. It's fourth down. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Didn't get all of that one. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 42-yard line. Texas A&M is up seven. On the toss, stop behind the line. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. It doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. From their own 37-yard line, second down. I'll let the, I'll let the quarter run out. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Texas A&M, 24, Oklahoma 17-24. Against 5-1 Oklahoma State. It'd be a pretty From their own decent win, line. I'd say. It's second down. Again, gets out to around the 45. They grab eight yards there. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Go quick pass. Walker, back to pass. Dang it. And they got it. The effort of the defense right there. Man, that was a big play there because it forces a punt and gives this team a chance to recover from the deficit. They'll set up shop at the seven. We've got a first and ten. Defense has been holding them, so let's hope that continues. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Watch it be intercepted. Penalty marker down the backfield. Might be a holding call. Roughing the passer. The officials are keeping a closer eye on hits to the quarterback. So you've got to be careful that it's timed right. Just a little love tap. And if you really hit him hard, you can easily draw the personal foul. It's making sure QB1 knows. What's coming to him? Boom! Sack. Very next play. So the sack makes this a second and long. Third and seven. Play fake. Come on. Throws 
complete, and he's hit right away. A seven-yard gain that time from the play-action pass completion. The defense wasn't fooled too much by the play-action, but it gave the quarterback just enough of a cushion to find his receiver. Uh-oh. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard mm. line. Nowhere it's been impressive. Great job of getting downfield and making the last three or four drives. Team. No points. So it's make or break time. Who's going to rise to the challenge? I'm just going to keep eating away at that clock. Walker, adjust the play at the line. Straight run, nothing going on there. So at the most, he gains a few inches. And the defense had great pressure there. They blitzed the middle linebacker, and there were no holes for the halfback to run through. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28. Another run. And they make the stop around the 29-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. That's a nice play by the I had just a little more speed. It could have gotten off the edge. We've got third and eight. Ball on their own 29. Play fake and looking to run. Man, he it's keeps overthrowing that ball. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. They'll start at the 33. First down, 10 yards. Let's see if we can get a little more Lambert magic here. Here's the gift. Boom. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. He may have changed things up here. It's the tailback. Tackle at the 45 yard line. Left side. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. From their own 43-yard line. Second down. Come Back on. Come on. Makes the catch and the defense is all third and thirteen. Taken back a yard. Third and thirteen. See what we got here. Come on. Cook doesn't like what he sees. Cook steps back to pass. Gets it out to him again. Brought down at the 46. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call. Almost perfect. If I were them right here, I'd, I, I would go for it. They're not going to get the first down. Yeah. And they're going four wide. So they're going to go for it here. Thought maybe they'd run it. Oh, and he dropped it. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. Hey, defense has been stepping up. They'll start at the 46-yard line. I right, got 424 left. Pretty sure I can run the clock out here. Soon I can get a couple first downs. To the or I'll just get a, a whole touchdown. How about that? We got Chris Roach doing Tebow time. Back when that was a thing. All right, I was I was up by seven, but now I'm up by fourteen. So unless they score twice within four minutes, it is possible. The offense will start at the twenty-seven yard line, first and ten. Oh, 
Oh, I missed it. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. Two yard gain on the quarterback keeper. He's changing things up. And they push him out around the 30 yard line. Cook changes the play at the line. Did you get that head start on a draw play? Here's a handoff, and he's brought down right away. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed this two man under has been working pretty well, so I'm just going to stay in it. Watch for that draw. Looking to throw. Come on. Can't find anyone open. He caught it. He goes down. Hit as he threw. Come on. Can't pull it in. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the thirty-three yard line. Lambert's getting tired, but I'm gonna keep him in there. Uh, 300 yards, but only 17 points. Going under center. Run play. Got the score. He's been letting it fly today and his receivers are making Probably gonna go for go for onside. And he hits the PAT. And here's our drive summary. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. No, they're gonna rely on their defense, okay. Just need one first down. And try to put this game out of reach. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. He got what he could, and it wasn't much. The defense calls a timeout. Second and nine. Come on, 73 completely missed that block. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 30 yard line. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Well, definitely have to punt that one. They'll go to work at the 41 yard line. So they have to score a touchdown here. Little handoff. Brought down at the 42. <laughs> the spike will stop the clock. They really didn't have to do that because now they wasted it down and now it's third down. Down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. They got to be careful here. Come on. Nice. And he sacked. And that'll be the second time that he found the quarterback today. And again, it was the linebacker who was coming in on the blitz. He's done a very good job today of penetrating the line of scrimmage and making plays in the backfield. Nice. You have to stop him one more time. It's now fourth and long.
Come on, come on, come on. Boom. And he can't get away from the pressure. When the first down Not today, buddy. Someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. It's first and ten. Ball on the 24. All right. They hand it off. He's tackled at the 15-yard line. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. Well, he's got to run out the clock here. Got to run it out. Up the middle for a nice game. And that's a first down. First down, and now they have an opportunity to run some more time off the clock. Might be able to score. Who knows? Straight run. Nothing going on there. Two yard pickup. Second and eight. Ball on the nine. Got one more play here. I knew that was going to happen. That would have been devastating. That's it. That's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one, Texas A&M 31, Oklahoma State 24. So let's take a look at our Reese's Perfect Play of the Game, brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Kirk, your final thoughts on this one. I'm sad to see this one in because it was a great game to watch. Chris Roach had a good game. Really had to fight and make some big plays to come out on top in the end. This one was never a gimme. Thanks for being with us for another NCAA Football 11 matchup. I'm Brad Number 87, Nelson, Robertson. Robertson. Andrews and Kirk Herbstreit. Had a couple really good catches. He's dropped a lot in the past, so good to see him uh, catch some balls. Of course, Lambert with that crazy edge rushing. Let's take a look at some game stats. Only a 6 out of 13, but 121 yards. Not going to attract very many uh, quarterback recruits seeing those kind of numbers. That's all right. Chris Roach, 39 attempts. Three touchdowns. And uh, Chris Wilson coming in for one play. Marvin Robertson actually had the most rec receiving yards. Everybody gets one catch. Of course... Kevin Lambert at the top. 16 solo tackles, 5 tackles for loss, and 3 sacks. It was the... There's only one other player that had a tackle for loss. Quick look at OK State. If we look at passing... Course 30 out of 37, 308 yards, three touchdowns. Doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't matter though, because he still lost. All right, guys, I'm gonna be right back.
I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, folks, I am back. Sorry for the crunch. Got me some Chipotle barbecue chips. They're pretty good. All right, so that gets me back above 500. I think I'll go another game. All right. That win puts me at three and two. Next week or this week is going to be at KSU. I'm guessing that's Kansas State. Committed players, outer linebacker, outer linebacker, and a cornerback. I don't know how the AI recruiter does it, but he's bringing them in. Kansas State. Kansas State is who AM played back in 1998 for their lone Big 12 championship title. And it was a second half comeback win, too. All right, I'm going to look at the conference standings a little bit. See what we got here. I'm in the Big 12 South. Currently number four. Just gave Oklahoma State their second loss. See what's going on. Of course, Texas is at the top. Let's see who Texas has played. They beat Mississippi. And they beat OU. Pretty solid wins. So Oklahoma State had was 5-1 and one when I played them. I wonder who they beat. Somehow they lost to an FCS opponent. Beat Tennessee. Barely made it out of Arizona. Totally whipped Baylor. And a shutout against Colorado. Mizzou. So winning, uh, losing against FCS, that's tough. So they're, I guess their competition hasn't been that very that that stiff. Baylor sitting at one and five. Let's see what their record is like. 
They lost to Rice. They lost to SMU. Uh, lost to OK State. They beat Tulsa. They lost at Iowa and Nebraska. And they have OU and Texas to play. So not, things are not looking very bright for the Baylor Bears. I'm going to get lost looking all, at all these uh, conference standings. I'm just going to go ahead and skip on out of that. I'm going to take some time to go to recruiting. See where my fullback is. He's at number three. He actually went down in interest so i'm gonna give him an hour try to boost him a little bit jason bell's a four star and i'm way out of range so i'll just get rid of him I don't really need a quarterback right now, but I try to keep my my core needs met and then I'll kind of branch out and see what else I can find. So actually, I actually have uh, I already have a, cute, uh, a few quarterbacks. Got Bo Ward, he's out. Paul Walker, currently starting, and Mark Fawarda. But I have two more. Got a redshirt freshman, Brett Branch. He's 6'4", 236. Um, I got him because of his, his size, but his strength doesn't reflect that, so... kind of upset that the game doesn't take into account their size when it factors in like strength and break tackle rating because his break tackle is 47 and he's 6'4 236 so it just doesn't make any sense and uh, Ricky Baker sophomore red shirt So it's looking actually kind of bleak at quarterback right now. Bo Ward is... He's okay at 73. But... I'm going to have to use uh, Paul Walker for the rest of the season. So maybe I should focus on getting a quarterback. Assuming I don't re don't already have one. It's James Noel. Let's check out his ratings. Their accuracy is D. I'll take a quick gander and see if there's any decent quarterbacks that might be approachable this late in the season. Got 13 matches. Let's see what we got. Tom Sanders. Jason Bell. Jordan Kidd. He's an athlete. Marcus Brown. Let's see, let's see who's got the best uh, forty time. Four five, four six. Uh, 
but he's a two star. It's tough to find speed at, at quarterback. Really great to have, though. This guy bench presses 295. This break tackles a D minus. It's probably in the low 60s, I think. Hmm. But he's a one star, it's just a waste of talent. No, not, not talent, but waste of recruiting time. I don't think there's really anything worth pursuing right now. Alright. Let's jump into this game. Kansas is going to be wearing purple and silver. Let's see, I'll go. Go all white. All right, classic matchup: Kansas State, Texas A and M. Destroying these barbecue chips. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm joined by the former quarterback, Kirk Herbstreit. And we'll also hear from Aaron Andrews in a bit. Welcome to today's game, brought to you by EA Sports and ESPN. Our matchup is between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Kansas State Wildcats. We're in Manhattan, Kansas, also known as the Little Apple. My sustenance. Oh. Before I start, I wanted to show this controller. This is an 8 bit, 8 bit dough controller. It's a Bluetooth gamepad. But it's compatible with the Nintendo Switch. Um, basically Android, iOS, and uh, Windows. Pretty cool because um, it's essentially the, the SNES control that you know and love. But you can see it's got two joysticks. Um, and they have, it's basically a modern controller, controller layout. So if you take a look at the shoulder buttons, there's two of them, like L1, R1. And the joysticks click. You can hear it. Um, and it's got 
course, start select and all those buttons. Um, not a big fan of the D-pad, but for some games, you kind of need it. But I like this controller because it's... Um, it just... It just has that feel. Uh, but probably my, my only critique of it is not with the controller itself, like the quality of it. It's the it's the, the design of the 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 SNES controller because if you notice this was still at a time when you had rectangle controllers and so there's no there's nothing to hold on to and so when I hold on to it I don't know if you can see it but like when I hold on to it you kind of have to cramp your hands a little bit. A comfortable position for me with this controller. My thumbs are over the buttons. So I have to roll my hands, my thumbs back. And that kind of puts strain on my thumbs. So after a while, your hands get kind of cramped. So you have to kind of do this number where you kind of hold the controller higher up in your hand versus where you kind of want to put it right in the pocket here so uh 8-bit do does have an snes type controller with you know the standard handles that we all are familiar with uh, i haven't tried it but i'm sure it's pretty comfortable um, but the good thing about this design is that it's portable so i would um, I got rid of... I I used to have two of these, and I got rid of one. Uh, but I'll probably find another set so I can have two. Um, but I would have... I have this little, uh, little zip-up case. And I would put two of these in there, and I would have my hard drive with all my emulator stuff on there. It's kind of like a little console you can just whip out and have two controllers with um so yeah it's a pretty cool controller for you guys that like uh, retro games 8-bit do does make controllers for the actual consoles the snes consoles uh, but they come with adapters and all that and i'm kind of more of an emulator guy because I can have a lot more games in smaller space. But they also make uh, a Sega Genesis version that I want to get. Because it's I probably feel more nostalgic for the Sega Genesis. Because I played that a lot more than the Super Nintendo. But anyway, thought I'd show that. Green is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. Sends it sailing downfield. Speaking of uh, Kansas State, if any of you guys remember back in 2012, um, the Heisman finalists were the top three were. The offense will start at the 15-yard line. Of course, Johnny Manziel from A&M. He was first place. Um, Boy, it's the call. And he's taken down. Second the place, I think, was Manti Teo from Notre try. Dame. And then uh, there's the quarterback at the time for uh, Kansas State was Colin Klein. Down. So I think he was third place. But... Uh, He was their quarterback's coach for the past five years, and he just got promoted to offensive coordinator, which is pretty cool for him. And KSU's quarterback is down in a third play of the game. Let's check out what's going on.
Oh. Bernard Boyd. Torn shoulder, seven weeks. So right off the bat, we don't have to face our starting quarterback. Let's see who their backup is. Ben Fletcher. 6-8 overall. Overall, probably facing the same amount of skill. This guy has a lot more break tackle ability. So got to be careful with that. He's more elusive. Better ball carrier vision. But speed is about the same. Throw accuracy, a little bit lower. So it shouldn't be that much of a hindrance to them. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on their own eight. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Come on, get him. Safety. And they're flirting with disaster. Ooh, he took a shot. They just let him go completely unevaded to the quarterback. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. I'm confused on how that's not a safety. Do you not have safeties in... Pretty sure they have safeties in this game. Clearly tackled in the end zone. I mean, if I can get two points out of it, might as well. Determine exactly where they should spot the ball. Just gave away a timeout, basically. So the referee on the field agrees with the official upstairs, and they'll keep the ball marked at the original spot. Well. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. This will try for a punt block. Right, guys, you know me, conservative on tempo. And they'll look to Start out with a little counter to the weak here. side. On the ground with the tailback. He makes it to the 28-yard line. And the tailback's going nowhere on that counter. Well, if nothing else, I'll get a field goal this drive. Hand off, and he's met immediately. Not much there, maybe a yard. There was simply no daylight on that play. The defender came in and dropped the hammer. Come on. He's taken down around the 19-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise. Nice little a good pass out of the a nice, ball nice little swing man. pass. This will be the first snap inside the 20 today. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. He gets another set of downs and more importantly opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff first down on the eight yard line I'm just gonna try to muscle it in and they get nice yard Chris Wilson Wilson he's my speedy back with the carry. Second down. Here we go from the three yard line. They put everyone up on the line. Walks in untouched. And, and for Roach, he now has 10 rushing touchdowns this year. Think about how much pressure it takes off the offense and the offense.
This drive will start at the 27 yard line. We've got a first and 10. See if we can get Lambert going. They'll throw on first down. He gets hit out of bounds at the 28 yard line. Second and Maybe nine. Maybe got two feet on the play. That's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. Ooh. Option here. Brought down around the 26 yard line. You keep gaining. I just remember that I saw an article. Having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of There's an article on, on sports games. And it was something like it's time for sports games to abandon the the annual release model. Ooh. when he would have gone all the way it was about you know, saying that sports games should move away from the annual release model and it's kind of interesting because sports games i think have traditionally been the annual release they were like the the poster child for annual release games and Basically, it was like every two or three dev cycles, you'd really start to see the difference between the games. Um, I've always been an advocate for for games to get away from the yearly release model. Um, it's just because I think more more people now than ever are dissatisfied with the state of football gaming and getting away from the year the yearly release model isn't going to change that First down. They are 10 but yards away. it could change how people purchase trip to the red zone. sports games it resulted in a touchdown particularly madden and often he's met immediately maybe got two feet on the play um like you can't release an update for Madden for full price. Score. People just, I mean, maybe some people are gonna buy that, but not not as many people. I, I don't think. I would hope not. It again, so, in the Good job by the if they move to the more like a service base, like a lot us. of games are nowadays, like Destiny and other games. And I think uh, Pro Evolution they Soccer, which used to be team. called, or was called Winning Eleven for a while. I think they're moving away from, oh, nice spin. They're moving away from yearly releases as well. I think it's just a matter of time before Madden does that, before they're forced to. If Madden had its its core features and then every year they would have their patches and releases, which is essentially what the, the annual release model is, except that you pay full price for it. He makes the PAT. So. so here's the drive summary to recap what just happened. Definitely. We are definitely in need of more, more, uh, is lined up to kick this one off. more football games. He just drills this one. It really sucks just being able to play one game that's new. It's crazy. They threw a pick the last time. I don't know how I don't know how people put up with it. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get right. back into this. It's like they're going They'll go to work at the 19 under center line. here. First and 10. Run the middle and nothing there. The running back gets two on the carry. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. 
That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Ran to the wrong side. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. At third and eight. Let's see what they got. Back to pass. Ooh, come on. Fourth and two. I say they punt it. Very nicely done here by the All right. So if I score here. At the 41 yard line. It's going to be 21 0. Feeds it to the back. He's tackled around the 50 yard line. And they pick up nine there. What sprung this play was some pretty good blocking up front. They read the blitz and picked it up nicely. My goal this season is to get to nine wins, which. With the way things have been, as far as recruiting, that might be pushing it. I'd be lucky to get to eight, which is what I've been the last two seasons. But I had chances last season. I, I really did. But I need to break that, that eight win season. Comes away with five yards on the carry. And we did get re-signed, which I thought maybe I wouldn't get re-signed, but ended up pleasing the powers that be enough. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 42. Caught open field. Brought down at the 20. Kind of spin him out with Perkins, but Perkins, Nick Perkins, he's more of a that gave the quarterback enough run straight at you kind of guy. From the 28 yard line, first down. From the 27 yard line, second down. Come on, Roach. Come on, you just dropped a touchdown there. Third and nine. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. He scrambled. That's a tight end who's wide open out there. Ooh, I was going to go back to Perkins, but I saw that pressure coming off the right side. And I knew that, that I had the tight end coming over the middle to the left side. Robertson's been stepping up his catching game. I guess all those up downs in practice kind of change things. And this play is number eight on the drive. First down. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Uh-oh. Come on. Where's my injury report? Okay, Paul Walker's out with a strained pectoral. He will return soon. The two QBs are down. Let's look at for Wordo. Speed is about the same. Definitely doesn't have the acceleration of Paul Walker. Break tackle is the worst of the three. Let's look at throw power and accuracy. Well, that's okay because they usually make short to intermediate throws anyway. If I'm heaving bombs, you know I'm desperate. Straight run, 
nothing going on there. So at the most, he gains a few inches. It's the ninth play of the drive. It's second down. So we've got the third stringer coming in. Scrambling around. Tackle made at the six yard line for Wordo. Gains about five yards on the scramble out of the pocket. Definitely going to rest him. Four yards away here on third down. Not going to force my QB2 to come in before he's ready. Here's a handoff and he's brought down right away. That was some sure tackling to make sure he didn't pick up the first down. I'll go ahead and knock this one in. Kicks away. And it is good. I'm up 14. I'll just go ahead and chip in another three points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. Harris comes away with two yards on the carry from their own 22-yard line. It's second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fletcher drops back. He's taken down around the 40 Surprised I kept up with that receiver. So the offense will move it didn't matter. closer with that penalty. From the 42 yard line, first down. To his fullback. Tackle at the 32 yard line. A 10 yard gain. From the 32 yard line. Second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Oh my Harris God. <laughs> takes the give. Tackle outside. And that dive will kill you. So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. Good running and a strong Playing like push it's Tecmo Super Bowl or something. Defense. Here's the option. Ooh. Fake to me, and then he pitched it. The yard line. A pickup of about three. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 23. Short over the middle. Brought down at about the 15 yard line. Oh, they're nice starting to move the ball. Try to get more guys the in down. the box here. First and ten. For the first time today, we'll get to see how this defense responds when they're backed up into the red zone. Straight run, nothing going on there. King gets three yards on the carry. It's second down, about 12 yards out. Gets to about the 11. Third and six. Line. That run didn't go far. They'll spot the ball. Now they're going two the tight stage. ends. Third down on the 10 yard line. Okay, everybody's covered. Come on. Short over the middle. A little laundry out the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Hold it, hold it. Hold it out, hold it out. You've probably heard it said that an eight, I'll take that. Play. It's just not called. I don't think it's really that prevalent, but you can get away with it sometimes, and other times you can't. Let's see. 
from the 14 yard line. Third down. See, hopefully they don't run it here. Fletcher is come on, looking come to on. stay perfect on this drive. Almost intercepted. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. Oh my god, man, they missed it. Well, they tried for three, but they came up empty handed. So the score is shame. Texas a 306 left in the half. Doesn't look like it's going to be that competitive right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and bleed the clock if I can. Ooh, Chris Roach with a good juke. Shakes off another guy. Second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Paul Walker's back, so that's good. Let's see what we can do here. And he's throwing long, and he's got a man out there. Ooh, nice catch by Chris Roach. There's a flag on the field, and I think I have a good feeling of what this But it's coming back. Man. Holding penalties can the officials really know how to ruin a good play. Sometimes if you don't hold, your quarterback can take a pretty good shot. We've got second and long. Ball on their own 14. Walker doesn't like what he sees. Fakes it and the quarterback scrambles. Oh. When you're in zone coverage, that means you get that pass off very quickly. Pass coming into their area. Third and 16. The ball away. I don't want to try anything crazy. It's third and long. Walker, back to pass. He sails it long. And it's intercepted. And I did something crazy. Man, I was staring at... Uh, it was a tight end here. Robertson, 87. Right there. The only reason I didn't throw it here is because uh, Paul Walker was facing the wrong way. If I would have thrown it here, he probably would have tossed it somewhere over here. So also picked off. So, I knew I should have kept that ball on the ground. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. He looks to throw on first down. Come on. Looking long to Just the right. Chucks it. Drops. <laughs> From their own 46 yard line. Second down. Back to pass. Ooh, nice tip. Batted away. Smart heady play by that defender. That was solid. Third and ten. See if I can't get a good pressure right here. Boom. Whoa, he just took a lick it. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week to week basis. Yeah, don't ever count Lambert out with those edge rushes. Give this guy some Gatorade. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Thomas is the punter. The defense calls a timeout. Fourth and long here after the sack. He's taken down at the 19. It's actually very hard to return a kick. A punt. Let's see what he does here. Usually the AI is there pretty quick. So let's just keep it on the ground. On -yard line. It's first down. Maybe I'll try a play action pass if I get close enough. They'll work the right side and there's nothing going there. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. From their own 15 yard line. Second down. Ready? 
Pitch out. Ooh, nice juke. Makes it out to about the 23. The offense calls a timeout. I'll run one more play, but I'll keep it on the ground. Third down, six Let me to see, go. See if I can. That's a screenplay. Walker, adjust the play at the line. Gives it to the back. He's tackled at the 32. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain in a first down. One more toss. You know, we'll get some good blocking here. Roach pitches it out. Runs outside for a nice game. We've still got a half of football remaining, but our score at halftime is 17 nothing. Three out of five, 30 yards. Chris Roach on his way to 40 attempts. Kansas State will be kicking off to start the second half. Freeman takes it from the six. He makes it to the 28-yard line. The defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. This drive will start at the 28. All right, let's try a play action right off the bat, see if we can't catch him off guard here. Play action. He might not be able to get the pass Ooh. off. Knocked out of bounds. Good scramble. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Looks like Nick Perkins, number 45, is a little tired. Give him a couple seconds. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 46. Come on. Back with a carry. Tackle made at the 38 yard line. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it Just on the needed a little more play. space. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. Let's go for a power row on the strong side. And Chris Roach jukes his way to the first down marker. Right now they're firing on all cylinders. From the 27 yard line, first down. Yeah, Kansas State isn't putting much of a fight. So, that was all messed up. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Roach on the give. Runs outside for a nice game. Roach picks up about four yards. Third and nine. Handoff. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. I think I'm in field goal range. Come on, catch that. Tries to get around the corner. Man. And they make the stop around the corner. Trying to do that spin line. move. A yard, if even that, on the play action pass. See if I can't make this field goal. This will be a 43 yard field goal attempt. Let's see. Ooh, too far to the left. 
not enough power. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time they couldn't come through. It's first and ten. Ball on their own twenty-six. On the option, he gets sacked on the play. The protection oh, Lambert was about to blow that option. Oh, they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. It's see what's up here. Second and 12. And he's taken down right around the 26 yard line. At 39, they're probably going to pass it here. There on the misdirection run. They come out in a five wide set. Come on. Chucks it deep down the right side. Knocked down, incomplete. Kirk, the safety made a really nice play on the ball. If he's able to break on that ball just a second sooner, he would have gotten the pick there, too. Defense holding up. See? Once again, you wonder what kind of impact the special teams can't play get have on the one block after a play off like the that. return. This could be big for the defense. They'll set up shot at the 36 yard line. First and 10. They're looking for Robertson or Perkins. And he has it on the corner. And they push him out right around the 46 yard line. And it's tough to get that little fullback pass off sometimes because they come off the line so quick. All out blitz and didn't panic at all. It's a nice pass and a new set of downs to show for it. Fullback needs to be able to catch those wobbly passes. From their own 46 yard line. First down. It's the tailback. Nice run to the outside. A pickup of five. Second and six. Ball on the 49. Holy moly. Takes a snap and he's in trouble. I'll just get rid of that. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Come on, get those blocks. Ooh. Makes it to the 41. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. And he has it on the corner. Man. Perkins said, get off me. And they make the stop at the 27-yard line. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell yeah, the Perkins hasn't way, dropped one of those passes in a while. On the defense. Just push that guy off of him. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. to throw here comes the pressure and he just and I was tempted to throw to B but I was on the move and he's getting close to that safety he was open for a bit though so it's second and ten I pressed A, but they didn't throw it. That would have been a touchdown. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Come on, catch that. Nice. Ooh. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. I was kind of worried. I wasn't seeing anybody come out of all that mess. But Lindsay. Clutch. 
finish it off with a nice little hop. I mean, if I score again, I put in uh, put in the second stringers. Let them get some game time. It'd be nice if they'll go to work at the twenty yard line. It's first players had experience points and they would get them by playing on the field. Right now there's no reason to play your second stringers other than it was just depth rotation. Which is part of the game, of course, but it'd be cool if you could give your guys experience. But that's getting into the territory of RPG elements, which most sports games seem to, to go. Ball on their own 40. stand away from, which I think is unfortunate. Looking to throw. Up looking to scramble. We got him. They bring him down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket. Second and thirteen. Let's away. go. From their own thirty-seven yard line. Second down. To the incomplete. These guys, especially in the secondary, yeah, that was a bad read. He was busy. He was busy blocking Lambert. He didn't have time to catch that at all. Get off the field here. Fletcher, back to throw. Uh, he took a shot downfield going for the big play, but the defender did a great job to follow it and then break it up. Man. KSU okay, so hasn't been able to score a single point. And he can't hang on to the ball. Tackle at the 33 yard line. Muffed it almost lost the ball. Because that guy like couldn't block him. You gotta see the ball into your hands while not worrying it's about almost safer hit. just to go the fair catch. They got the ball back and now they can go to work on offense. This drive will start at the 33. Right, my guys are ready to pack up and go home. A little counter tries to get to the corner. He's to the 40. Brought down at about the 49. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. Again with a carry. Ooh. He's got an opening. To the 20. Man, that run blocking. Touchdown. Huge play. And for Roach, what a performance for him today with three rushing touchdowns. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. Well, Chris Roach gets 30, closer to 40 touches every game. So, I'm sure he's right about that. Just straight up power football and it's nice when you have a train of guys boom boom and he's off to the races The offense will start at the right. 30. So, next drive, I'll get my second stringers in on offense. And down he goes. At about get uh, Chris Wilson some run time. He's the backup running back. It's second down, six yards to go. He's actually a pretty solid running back. It's just 
I mean, Chris Roach is just in all the time. Heading to the fourth quarter. This one is well in hand. With the score, Texas A&M 31, Kansas State nothing. Little screenplay. Completes it across the middle. And he's tackled at the 29. Come on, come on. Fletcher steps back to pass. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. I think the secondary caught a break there with that ball being overthrown to the tight end. I know he's a big fella, but he's still a playmaker, and that had big play written all over it. There it is. Fletcher steps back to pass. Boom. And he's hammered down. Told you guys it was coming. Of this game. Boy, let me tell you, that was a big hit. This guy just drilled the quarterback on that play. They're trying to bring in the tight end now and the fullback. Got to block Mr. Lambert here. Fletcher, back to pass. Ooh, that was close. It was enough to deviate the pass. Now we got an injured player on the field. The quarterback. My defense has gone through two of their quarterbacks. Let's see what their injury is. Dang. Wrecking Crew is doing a, a number on, on their offense here. Got Blen, uh, Ben Fletcher. Dislocated shoulder, two quarters. And Bernard Boyd, seven weeks. So Fletcher's out for the game. There's not even two quarters left. So who do they have as their number three? Justin Robinson, ooh, sophomore red shirt, 62 speed. Definitely the walk on 69 throw power, 66 throw accuracy. If, if we get through this guy, I guess they're going to have to run the wildcat or something. They'll call on the field goal unit from 53 yards away. And this one doesn't have the distance. So the kicker is unsuccessful and this defense couldn't be any happier. All right, let's... So we'll change possession with a score. Texas A&M, 31, Kansas State. Let's do nothing. second team offense. Uh, some reason the halfback didn't switch out. Yeah, we'll roll with it, I guess. The offense will start at the 36 yard line. It's first and 10. And it looks like they pulled the starters. <laughs> Gives it to the back. And he's taken well, Chris Roach, because... And for Roach, he goes over the 200-yard mark in the game. And we're talking about rushing yards, folks. He's at... Chris Roach is second stringer, so... I'm going to put in... Wilson... And Rogers. Big holes to run through today. And when you get that kind of space, good things are going to happen. Second and one. Ball on the 45. See if uh, Chris Wilson's speed can't get out. Texas A&M. I like that. 
I'm gonna switch that over to the right. They go to the ground game. I could have juked him. He probably would have made it. It's a five-yard pickup on the play, and that'll move the sticks. Good job to let the play develop and pick up a nice gain for a first down. Wilson will run it again. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. So nothing fancy about this offense. They just run the same play over and over. Get ready. Number four might be coming up right here. And that blocking. And they'll run them again. And they make the stop at the 28-yard line. A nine-yard pickup by the tailback on the counter play. Walker. Let's go straight up the gut here. Chris Wilson can go up the tackles every now and then. Right now we got Four Stringer. Forgot his name. What's his name? Rogers. Give it off here. They'll bring him down at the 16 yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. That makes, that makes it make second, second and two. From the 16 yard line. Second down. They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. Wilson again. What a play, and that is first and goal. So the run goes for a big first down. The offensive line opened up some nice lanes to Man, run through as well. Just That's run all over these guys. And they'll run him again. He's tackled at about the five yard line. Wilson gains around three yards on the counter play. It's second down. They're four yards. All right, guys, we're gonna punch it in here. They put everyone up on the line. He's taken down at the two-yard line. Rodgers gets three yards on the play. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. They're crowding the line. Untouched. And I'm starting to feel bad now. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. Chris Wilson is injured. They'll start this drive at the 30. First down, 10 yards to go. I'd put in my second string defense, too. Catches it and hit for no gain. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before I'll the keep play a man. had a chance to develop. Rose incomplete. A little uh great instinctive timing by the corner to deflect the pass. Play action pass. Really solid coverage skills. RPO. Third and ten. Harris gets the call. Still on his feet. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. We've got a first and ten. Nope. Robinson. Putting him down. Bring him down right around the 40. The D line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. Might be a run. Nope. Robinson back to pass. Brought down right around midfield. You know what? After Third and like four. That, they got a shot. At least bit surprised if they Not at winning, game. though. Two minutes left. 38 points. It's not happening. 
And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. But Kansas State is not going to quit, so they're just going to keep on at it. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. That'll be a pickup of a yard. Once the wide receiver made the catch, he just... Maybe I spoke too soon. They're going for a punt. For him to go. Tackle made at the 13. A touchdown was the result of their last drive, and a good chunk of those yards were gained by way of the rushing attack. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Ooh. Takes a hand up, but brought down before he could go anywhere. It's never good for a lineman just left that block open. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. I'm basically just seeing how how far I can get with the same play. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He might have a chance. And he shoved out of bounds at the 31. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Walker, adjust the play at the line. See if I can't do some uh Oh. They bring the quarterback down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. Came off fast. Stand back there and take hits like that. You definitely are going to feel it the next day. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. That's all right. Watch me run this back. Again, he'll get the call. What I tell you. That's just all blocking right there. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, Texas A&M, 38, Kansas State, nothing. Well, so let's take a look at our Reese's perfect play of the game. Brought shut out Kansas Reese's State. Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Kirk, your final thoughts on this one. You gotta give these coaches credit. I need to check their rating. I, motivated as big I thought it was gonna be more challenging. Is always a sign of a well-disciplined team. Texas A&M did what they had to do to win the game. Hey, but that's gonna put me at four and two. They'll be happy looking at that And that'll do it for two games away from bowl eligibility. And five games or five wins away from my win goal for this season. Seven out of 11. Yeah. 88 yards. It's pathetic. Is that two, 300 yards rushing? It's ridiculous. Yeah, they couldn't keep a quarterback in the game. This uh, sparkling water has kind of gone flat a little bit. Actually, it is flat. It was uh, supposed to be grapefruit flavored. Rambler. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that brand. Might just be a H-E-B thing. Okay. Look at the standings. I'm at four and two now. I'm assuming I'll probably jump Oklahoma here. Well, actually, no, they're number 15. We'll see. I'm at number six in the Big 12. Somehow I'm behind Kansas State. I'm assuming that's just because the game's not updated yet. I 
Uh, assuming that I keep my loss record around two, I should be able to... I think I should be maybe in the top three coming up here pretty soon for the Big 12. Let's check out who next week's opponent is. Next week is against Iowa State. So KSU was a middle of the road team at three and three, but after we got done with them, they're sitting at three and four. ISU is also three and three. Yeah, not not a lot of uh, strength right now in the Big Twelve. It's basically just Texas, Oklahoma, and OK State. Texas Tech also looks like they're lagging behind at two and three. So I'm pretty sure I can win both of these games. That should get me to six wins, which that that'll give me uh, bowl eligibility. So that'll be six. I'm pretty sure I can beat Baylor, so that should be seven. And Cincinnati, I think I can beat them, so that should be eight. So I think I can get to eight wins. I don't know about OU or Texas. It would take a miracle for OU, I think, and Texas, probably not, but we'll see. So we'll, we'll probably, if things go more or less okay, we should be at eight and four on the season with an additional bowl game um, to put us at nine and four. Um, Unless, unless Texas, Oklahoma, or OK State slip up and maybe lose one or two games during that time, then uh, I might be able to play two postseason games uh, with the bowl game and a championship game. So we'll have to see how that turns out. But... As far as the stream goes, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thanks for those who were a uh, gaming trucker. Hope to see you again sometime soon. I like having someone to chat with during the games. That way I don't have to be weird and talk to myself for two hours straight, which... I talk to myself anyway. All right, guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching the Retro Sports Gamer channel. I am Gridiron Masters. I will see you guys in the next one.